It's a Capitol Police officer who just took the stand in the Oath Keepers trial, blew a hole in one of the defense's theories. Lawyers for Stuart Rhodes and four other members of the Oath Keepers on trial have suggested that the group helped Officer Harry Dunn. Dunn just took the stand and said flat out, quote, they didn't. NBC's Ryan Riley is at the D.C. courthouse. Ryan, tell us what happened. That's right. So this all took place just outside of uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office on January 6th. You had Harry Dunn there uh, actually holding a rifle with his gun on his hip and blocking the staircase leading down to the first floor of the Capitol. Uh, essentially what these uh, defense attorneys have suggested is that they were that these individuals that he confronted that had this interaction with Dunn uh, were helping Dunn and keeping other rioters away. But Dunn was sort of having none of that and saying that he stopped them from going down, saying that he stopped other rioters from going down and that um, he wasn't working with them uh, in any sort of capacity and wasn't ex seeking their help. There was another separate incident earlier, just after shots fired, down on another floor, which there was apparently some confusion about on the defense team about, where Harry Dunn, uh, w there were pe individuals who did step uh, around Harry Dunn at that moment, but that was sort of an entirely separate incident. Uh, meanwhile, we've got testimony from Graydon Young happening right now, and he's a Florida oath keeper who has pleaded guilty not to a seditious conspiracy charge, but to other very serious charges, uh, and is cooperating with the government and talking talking about how he got sucked into online conspiracy theories on Facebook and YouTube, thought the election was stolen, um, and was working uh, with uh, the Oath Keepers and traveled to D.C. Um, on January 6th as part of this effort uh, that this trial is sort of all centers around here, Chris.